So the one my good people, it's your boy Alpha Hebrew, back at you with another video, man. Um, we're gonna start this video off by giving all praises and honor to Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai, our savior, and all my beautiful Israelite brothers and sisters. Yes, we are back. Today video, man, gonna be about uh, Black Friday. Um, uh, you know, people for years have been doing Black Friday. Um, it's been a, um, a so-called tradition here in uh, America, AKA Babylon, and uh, they have been doing it um, for the longest of times. Um, I believe um, it was first um, coined in like 1950 or 60. And this is where people would get, you know, their prices for very, very cheap. And um, yeah, it uh, it started in, um, I believe, Philadelphia, the term. Um, uh, that was one, there's two. So let me, let me get to the, the, the first one. The first one is when after Thanksgiving, the, they would um, discount the slaves to other slave owners. So that's what the Black Friday was about. Um, after they stole the land and um, colonialized everything and um, sat down um, with the, the, the last uh, Indian group, which was uh, the Wham to go, I just call them the Wham tribe. Uh, they had that feast and ever since then, when they told them, yeah, we stole your land and we stole your people and we harvest your crops. And um, that's where, the, you know, harvest is literally just um, when you gather up everything and you feed your people. Um, and that's what they did. They killed off the Indians and uh, had that last sit down with them and celebrated their victory. And after that, right, after that, the next day, right, they would sell the slaves half off. And the term dozen is included in that because during slavery, the term dozen, they would sell in um, 12, you know, y'all know what 12 is. So all my Hebrew people, my Hebrew brothers, sisters, y'all know what 12 is. They would sell them um, in 12. And those were the so-called quote unquote disobedient slaves, the ones that fought back, the ones that had, you know, wasn't going for the BS, they would sell them in dozens to humiliate them and uh, emasculate them and, um, and mutilate them. And they would sell them to other owners, you know, half off or whatever, discount or whatever. It was very subhuman. And that's where the term Black Friday comes from, in that sense. Now, they have made it in another sense also where in Philadelphia, I believe it was 1950s, this is what I'm talking about, uh, when I say the 1950s in Philadelphia, they would um, call it Black Friday because uh, chaos would pursue, and that's what they was planning for, and they said literally, uh, lock up all the, the black people, find all the black people, watch all the black people, quote unquote black people, that's stealing, you know, that's why it's called Black Friday. You know, it could be termed any other color or, you know, whatever. But it's Black Friday because they was keeping an eye on black people. Um, it's not uh, White Friday. It's not Red Friday. It's not Yellow Friday. It's not Pink Friday. It's not Blue Friday. It's not Orange Friday. It's not, uh, you know, any of those colors, right? Um, but it's Black Friday. You know, the, the origins of things people have to really know about, you know, what's the origins of it? We got to pay attention. Black Friday was still an attack on black people. You know, it's, it's, it's not a, it's, it's something that we shouldn't be doing and we, we shouldn't even be doing it in general because first of all, you don't save any money, right? Um, these people are selling you, you are cheap items. Um, we know that um, saving, you know, 10, 20, 30 dollars off of something, uh, you know, like a TV or something, uh, 
you're gonna wait in line, you're gonna do all this chaotic stuff over thirty dollars. It's this is of, it's not of the Most High. This is of uh, people of colonialism. This is people of you know that type of systemic uh, racism. You know, this is people who want to you know step on people and move people out the way. These people are trying to get up. They, You know, the companies and other people, people just be buying stuff so they can flip it. I mean, hey, get your money, but we always have to know what's the origins of things and why we do it. A lot of people get hurt. People getting stabbed, shot, killed, robbed. Um, that's why they're trying to do it online also because it's too chaotic, you know? Um, when you think about it, why are you even investing in le electronics, games, and things like that when you need to invest in your future, your life, your children? It's, you know, children out there that need clothes and shoes and food and education, like not this Western education. I'm talking about the most high education. Uh, book smart knowledge of, of our history, not his history. Um, but you're, you're spending money on that. Like people are really um, gluttonous. You know, people don't, they don't really care about um, others' well being. You know, we have to change that. Stop doing this Black Friday. Tell them to name it something else. You know, Black Friday is stupid when you think about it. And we've been doing it for so long. And people so quick to think that they're getting up on someone when they're not. They don't line up at the homeless shelter like that. Why don't, why don't they line up at the homeless shelter? Why don't they line up to feed people, to help people, to clothe people? Why don't they line up to find all these ladies and children that's missing? Men too. Why don't they do something more productive than, you know, stand in a line for 24 hours? It's people that was camping out days and stuff. Like growing up, they used to camp camp for days just to get, you know, the first one in, get half off of the whatever game TV or whatever it is, you know, foolish and sleeping in their cars. People will do anything to try to get ahead of life. And it's not wrong, but it's wrong in the sense of like, if that's the only thing you do is try to get ahead for yourself, that's wrong. You should get ahead for your people. You should give, get ahead for your people, man. So we have to start analyzing ourselves and looking at that because it's um, it's it's very it's, it's it's very just demonic and it, it's 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 very just you know scrutable to me. It's very scrutable. Like I don't really fully get the thought that goes behind it, man. But people, you know, people gonna be people. But I just wanted y'all to know the origins of it. It started at discounting, uh, discounting black people and slaves, slaves, which were just black people. Um, and that's how it came about. And um, just keeping an eye on us and making sure we don't steal when we're, you know, we're not the thieves here. We didn't, how y'all make sure we don't steal and y'all stole a whole country? That, that doesn't seem logical, you know, so. Um, that's all it is, it's just capitalism. You know, that's, that's all it is, it's just capitalism. These people, it's a return investment for the government. It's a inter uh, return investment for the government. All it is, is you giving the government back the money. You know, we have to really stop and think, like, why aren't we, why are we not building our own communities take that money and build your own community we can build our own community we have to we have because we we quick to blame people the quote-unquote black man we quick to blame people but we slow to build our own community no more neighborhoods that's another thing i'm gonna touch on in um you know another video no more neighborhoods man let's build a community for black people quote-unquote black people Hebrew Israelites, let's build together. Stop being selfish with that dollar. Don't go to no Black Friday. Don't go to any of that. 
unless you're going to buy a lot of stuff and take it to the homeless shelter and feed people and clothe people and make sure they can come up, then that's different. That's different, but it ain't that. So it, 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 the origins of it is demonic, and then uh, the, the morals of it is demonic. And what you're going to do with it is demonic. It's all for personal gain. Gluttony. The Most High don't approve of that. The Most High don't approve of that, man. So we going we gotta, we need to shut that down. We gotta start shutting this stuff down. Slowly, surely, but slowly, though. You know, very slowly, but we surely gonna do it. We gotta start shutting it down, man, because it's it's getting out of control, man. The concept is getting out of control. I can't believe people are still doing Black Friday in 2021. But it is what it is, man. Um, just next year and a year after that, uh, don't do it, man. You know, don't do it. Don't do it. Um, if y'all like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, hit that notification bell. Go check my other channel out, uh, Alpha Hebrew. It's going to be in the link below. And all my Israelite brothers and sisters, man, y'all keep the law, statutes, and commandments, and y'all stay safe. Keep honoring the most high, and we're going to stick together and build together, man. Um, it's Alpha Hebrew. I'm going to see y'all in the next video.